South Carolina is no longer in a state of emergency due to COVID-19. Governor Henry McMaster recently ended it, saying that it's no longer necessary as cases of the virus declined. But with the end of that state of emergency also comes the end of enhanced benefits, including food assistance. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us with how many people this is expected to impact and how much those benefits are dropping. The state of emergency really was a plus for struggling families. They got more money to put food on the table, but with the loss of federal assistance, advocates say this could make things worse. The pandemic made it easier to get and keep food assistance. Now those benefits are soon coming to an end. What it does for families is, is just incredible. It just does not make sense for it to be eliminated. Starting in August, South Carolina families will no longer get extra food assistance due to Governor McMaster's decision not to extend the state's state of emergency order. Social and economic advocates say it's too soon to cut funding. A lot of folks are not being able to go back to work at the number of hours that they worked before. According to the State Department of Social Services, right now about 610,000 people are getting food benefits through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP. Once the federal support stops, those recipients will lose an average of $177 a month. Governor McMaster's office told us the governor's decision to end the state of emergency was thoughtfully considered and discussed among all state agencies. Emergency SNAP benefit program was never meant to be a permanent fixture. The governor is confident that the normal pre-pandemic SNAP program is the best way to move forward for South Carolina. DHEC is continuing to focus on food insecurities. We recognize that getting a healthy, um, healthy, nutritious diet is a key component of um, people's health and well-being. In the advocate I spoke to today said that there is a push to keep emergency food relief. For example, states like Alaska and Wisconsin ended their state of emergency, but they were still able to apply for federal funding. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.